Please let me know if you can see that. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Paul. Um, Hi, Pasquale here. Sorry. Oh, hey there, Pasquale. Great to have yeah, you. Sorry for being late, but I had some technical issue to be fixed. Yeah, that that seems to happen with with <laughs> with uh, audio conferences. Okay. Uh, yep. No Sorry problem. Okay. I mute myself for not making any noise. By the way. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. Uh, well, uh, thanks everyone for joining. Uh, great turnout again. Um, it's fantastic. Always glad to uh, have everyone here. Um, just a reminder, we record these meetings so we can uh, post them on YouTube so folks who are not here know what's going on and uh, can, can, can catch up. Um, just going to go right into the agenda. Uh, first thing is the next steps on SCAL. Um, one thing that we had, uh, that we agreed at the last meeting was we would um, provide uh, feedback on features and preferably the um, prioritizing those features that we'd like added to SCAL. Uh, so Felix can submit a, an additional proposal and, and we can consider that for uh, extending the work going forward. Um, I don't know how many, I, I didn't see a lot of uh, a lot of feedback on that, so I want to encourage everybody, if you uh, see something in SCAL that needs to be added um, or, uh, or you've seen people suggest features in the past, please, um, try to give us some level of priorita prioritization, as in this is the most important, this is the least important, uh, and rank them as much as possible. Um, you can do that here, you can do that on the scale base camp, uh, whichever is fine, just so we have a record and we can actually prioritize any work that uh, Felix does as a follow-up. Uh, any comments or questions on scale? Okay, um, well that's great. And I and I uh, and while Felix isn't here, I, I do want to um, uh, thank him for the the amazing work that uh, he did on this, and and looking forward to working with him more in the future. Um, CIG update. Uh, first thing is we have a meeting. Uh, I believe it's next Tuesday. Um, I uh, I don't have my calendar in front of me. Um, I think I emailed it to this list, but if I had not, I will I will make sure that I did. Uh, so we're going to do some follow-up uh, to kind of hear what would Wojtek, um, what he found out at the RDK meetings this week, uh, and to continue our discussions on the low-level API and the software stack independent API, uh, particularly to get a sense of, you know, what what we need to do to get these to to uh, to release them and to and to what our next steps in uh, in the process. Um, also, if you're in the carrier interest group, if you have more feedback on how you you know um, a topic that you want to be discussed or you think should be discussed, please uh, bring that up there. Uh, in regards to the low-level API updates this week, um, I um, redid. Uh, the uh, Wi-Fi recommendation slightly, uh, based on the feedback from uh, Walter and Hauke. Uh, it was pretty minor stuff, but just uh, changed some language around. There was there was a topic that they that they mentioned related to uh, the data path. They wanted to get some. They there was some clarification that Hauke uh, suggested. Um, it's I don't think it's a major thing, but it was something that I did not feel comfortable writing because I didn't understand it well enough. So uh, I had asked uh, Hauke and and uh, Walter to uh, work out the details on that language. I would like to have that recommendation done uh, before the meeting next week. I think we can. Um, it's just uh, I need to get that language from them. So I will be uh, meant, uh, contacting them to to follow up and see and see if we can get that done. Any comments or questions on the low level API topic? All right, uh, the uh, software stack independent API, um, I had submitted a, uh, um, a list of, of features that I had kind of, kind of gotten from, from a couple members and they had, they had emailed me with their feedback. Um, some, uh, 
what what are the functions more or less at a high level that are needed for the Wi-Fi side of the software stack independent API. Um, I know there's there's a number of members who are involved in this, and I think we'll talk about this more at the Carrier Interest Group meeting. Uh, but I encourage uh, the members uh, to um, be very active in this and to try to uh, really guide this forward because this is this is something that uh, is we need to all work on and we need to all be um, very active and involved in because it's it's a big project, and I and I know there's a lot of people interested in it. So uh, we can talk about this more at the carrier interest group meeting, but I think one of the things we will talk about is, you know, what is the process and uh, is it regular meetings? Is it um, what? So any comments or questions on the software stack independent API discussion? All right. Um, the purple feed for OpenWRT lead. Um, one, uh, we've, the, the repository is up right now. Um, I've asked, uh, I, you know, Inteno and, and uh, Satura, I'm not sure who, who was going to be, was going to, is going to post their, um, post their work on the accessing UBUS via WebSockets. Uh, Bruce, do you have any update on that? Yeah, I do. Um, there's a pair meeting, I believe, during next week between um, us and uh, I think it's Luca mm -hmm. who's going to be. Um, and I think that our ambition is to try to get something there um, uploaded by the beginning of April. Awesome. So that's where, yeah, there has to be a little bit of cleanup, but I think that's the ambition is to get it uploaded by the beginning of April. Awesome. Fantastic. That'll be great. That'll be great to have up. Um, I would, uh, uh, Pasquale, is, is there, um, would you be willing to, to include the ADB stack um, prior to the complete scale uh, uh, integration? I know it's, we have a partial scale integration uh, given the number of hours that, that Luca had. Uh, is this something that, that uh, ADB would be interested in doing prior to that? Well, I need to better understand, you know, what will be the, the tasks and the activities over there. So maybe yes, of course, we okay. can give a bit more in, in details. And maybe uh, I'll ask also my colleagues that are in the call, Emanuele and Mauro, to, you know, to take over and to take the lead of this discussion. And so we will then, you know, okay. sync up internally. Okay. Sounds good. Um, so the just a the the amount of work involved is very minimal. Uh, it it is literally creating the uh, just so everyone knows, it's creating the package uh, make file and any small changes you need and putting it into a a directory and uh, submitting a pull request. So you don't actually even have to upload your code there. Uh, the code would would of course have to be publicly accessible. So if if that's not done yet, then that's a that's a separate thing that would need to be done. But um, it's uh, it's not too much work if if you have it already publicly accessible. Uh, just so folks know. All right. Well, uh, I want to encourage everyone again. If there's if you have something that you feel you want to get out to get out in public, get out to the community, to highlight uh, among other members of this group particularly, but also to the community at large. I want to encourage you to really uh, evaluate this and consider uh, putting this, um, putting your packages there because I think that would be uh, a, a good uh, a good step and, and, uh, and uh, very helpful both for your organization and for Purple. All right. Um, board farm updates. Uh, there's nothing from uh, my end. Uh, <laughs> Paul, anything Sorry. from you? Uh, yeah, I have some news. <laughs> um, we were about to upstream all the, the stuff that we've done. It's not loads, but um, we thought we'd probably push that up. However, 
um, we found just a few days ago that uh, it was our Boar Farm setup that was doing something odd to DNS for actual machines on the network. So until we understand what the problem is, <laughs> I don't want to upstream anything um, in case it causes other people problems too. So we're just looking at that and um, I suspect it's probably isolated to the CI40, but uh, we'll, we'll need to find out. And then once we've done that, we'll get some upstream stuff done. Fantastic. Well, uh, good luck with that and figuring out what's going on there. Um, yes, I, that's, it's, I hope that uh, is straightforward to fix. Um, I know I had uh, contacted, uh, I think it was Zhao from Ultran. He had contacted me and we um, wanted, to, wanted to be able to talk to uh, Mike and Matt, who were the cr original creators of Board Farm, to kind of get, get some, some feedback from and in, in understanding how how board farm was put together um i don't see uh Zhao on this call uh is there anything that you know um pedro on this topic no unfortunately not eric so um no i provided uh, also the introduction from them but uh, other than this right now i'm not following any new development directly with him. Okay. Well, that sounds good. Well, uh, thank you, and uh, I'm sure I will we'll hear back from Zhao uh, pretty soon, and um, I'm excited that they are very interested, it sounds like, in, in upstreaming their testing code that they already have internally into, uh, into board farm, so that would be very valuable. Any other questions, comments, discussion on board farm? All right. Um, funding OpenWRT projects. Uh, this is this is kind of connected to SCAL. I, I think we want to get some feedback from uh, from the group on what features should be added to SCAL. Um, I, uh, I uh, also am not quite sure. Um, I don't know if we have an answer on, on what the budget is for projects uh, that we can fund. Uh, Art, do you have any? Anything you can share on that? Uh, we haven't set the budget yet, uh, Eric, so we want to complete the SCAL project. Now that Felix has done that, we can uh, look to the next ones. Okay. We have a few proposals in already, uh, as everybody knows. There's been a proposal from uh, Luca. I think we'll look at some new SCAL-related stuff. So uh, we should be able to look at the budget and uh, you know pick the projects in the next few weeks. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that. Uh, I think we will we'll have some, I think most of the projects have actually uh, presented uh, uh, already. Um, so I, I don't think there's anything that anyone's surprised by. Uh, so we will um, look into those. Any other comments, questions on funding OpenWRT projects? Well, Pasquale here. Yep. Uh, as you know, as you know, concerning the ADB TR069 integration, there is a, a small part that is still to be done, so maybe take also this in consideration because otherwise the the project that was did is you know completed in, in out cooked way. All right. Um, I mean Art, do you have any have any uh, anything you want to um, response or you want to add to no, that? No, maybe Maybe, Pasquale, we should take that offline because I'm not quite sure what you mean about the half-cooked uh, way. So perhaps we can have a side dialogue on that. Yeah. Okay, great. Sounds Thanks good. Thanks All right. Um, sounds good. Any other comments or questions uh, on uh, funding OpenWRT projects? Yeah, is there any kind of description about how those projects work? I, I looked, I wasn't able to find anything, or is this just more ad hoc? Uh, methodology that we're using for funding of these projects. Um, yeah, there there is a there's a blog post where I, uh, we de we describe the the process. Um, it's uh, I think it's a little loose right now, but I, I think we're we're moving forward. So I mean, if you have any um, suggestions for improving the process or you know you know coming to a well, little bit formalized, there was also there was also a presentation at the uh, last OpenWRT summit on the process. 
So basically what, what we do is we solicit proposals. Uh, the intent was quarterly, but the scale projects uh, was bigger and took longer than we had originally anticipated. But the original intent was quarterly. We would solicit proposals. Uh, those proposals would go uh, to uh, a selection committee. Uh, Eric really runs that selection committee along with uh, Kathy. And then um, from there, we would get approval from our technical steering committee. And then if the magnitude is big, then we have to go to the board for approval. If the projects are smaller community projects, then we can just approve them. So that's the basic process in a nutshell, but Eric's blog post describes it better. Is, is it intended to um, basically kickstart projects, or is it basically intended to actually complete the project as well? So I was thinking, for example, the SCAR project, as, as the guy from A to B was saying, there's a lot of work that has to be done, even even at this point. So the question is, was it the basic intent just to kickstart it, and then the member companies who were interested in that would then continue on their own, or is it more to actually move to completion on these projects? Well, the smaller projects, uh, the ones of community interest, uh, the idea was they're complete and operational before the the community member gets paid. So those were intended to be fully completed. Bigger projects, it's exactly as you described. Uh, we wanted to kickstart things, but we figured that the community would get involved and they'd take on a life of their own uh, after we really began the implementations. Um, we're, we're not in a position to fund large projects over a long term, uh, so you know our intent was to, to fund smaller projects in the 5 to 10K kind of range. Uh, the, scout, the scout project turned out to be quite a bit bigger than that. So um, now it remains to be seen how much further we want to take it. There's a, lot, a number of proposals, uh, as you know, on scout where to take it, and we may consider additional funding there as well. But I do invite the community members, the, the industrial members, to jump in also. Thanks. Definitely. I, I think that, that scout is, is kind of in, in some level, the uh, has been a, it's a kind of a success story in this process because we're getting this framework that is uh, potentially very valuable to to members and was something that members uh, here had expressed a lot of interest in to simplify their process of integrating uh, TR069 stacks and to you know come up with with that common uh, system over time. But also, you know, Felix is is looking to continue developing it, uh, both uh, whether funded or not, and at some point get it into lead OpenWRT uh, core. So, I mean, we're we're developing things that are are going to have value well outside of of just the folks in this group. So, all right. Any other comments or questions? All right, uh, moving on to OpenWRT Summit. Uh, we have a meeting again next week uh, for OpenWRT Summit at 7 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, I am sorry again, Kathy, uh, but uh, that was the time that worked for everyone. Uh, the, uh, the big thing this week is, is uh, Paul and I and uh, um, Bedrick from, from CZNEC, we had talked about where to have the summit. Uh, particularly, Prague seems like a, a, um, a very likely possibility. Uh, CZ Nick is offering a fairly significant amount of organizational help if it is in Prague, um, and they are very intent on it uh, being there and would very much like it to be there. And uh, they're writing up some, some proposals to actually get that done. Uh, based upon that, I think it's pretty much more or less a done deal that it's going to be Prague, but I mean, if we find out something that is wildly, uh, that indicates that it you know, should be wildly different, we would, of course, move it um, or, or go with something else. But uh, Prague's probably a pretty likely possibility. Um, it also is conveniently also the location where ELCE is this year. Um, I don't think we're going to co-locate simply because of cost, um, and we, I, I'm not sure we gain that much based upon um, our, uh, the co-location fee, but uh, 
we could also do it scheduled, you know, before the the uh, ELCE um, in a different location or uh, or after or something like that. That's also another possibility, but also in Prague, but not at the hotel itself. Um, that is the big thing with OpenWRT Summit right now. Um, any questions, comments, discussion? Quick thing, Eric. Yep. I was just thinking, I'm in a number of the kind of sub teams to, mm -hmm. to come up with something before the next meeting. Um, and I thought, actually, do I have contact information? I, I'm sure I do somewhere. I just <laughs> can't remember where it is. Uh, it, you could get that from the mailing list, but I can also get that to you. Because um, the okay, mailing list does have a list of members, so yeah. Fine, I'll I'll, uh, I'll contact you. Okay, sounds good. All right. Any other comments or questions? All right. Yeah. What uh, what what that that, meet, that meeting? What week is that going to be? Um, in October. Is that decided. Would... The um ELCE itself is the last week. In October, but we haven't decided on a date, um, so we could potentially do it. Not even in October, but uh, if we wanted to do it around ELCE, that would be the last week. I think it's the Monday through Wednesday of the last week of October. Um, okay. So that should give you a sense. Yeah. All right. Any other comments or questions? All right. Moving on, uh, the Purple IoT Conference in Berkeley. Um, I will. Um, I uh, have not been as much in the loop on this. Uh, Art, do you have any update on that? Yeah, so it's in the uh, very nearly go no go decision phase. Uh, we'll make the final decisions on everything in the next week or so. The idea is it's a joint event between the IoT Security Foundation in the UK. Uh, ourselves and the, uh, the one of the prominent clubs at the Graduate School of Business at Berkeley. That's the Haas School of Business, uh, which is a very prominent MBA program in the U.S. Uh, basic idea is it would be opportunities and risks in IoT, so we could bring in sort of the entrepreneurial spirit of the Berkeley Haas School, along with the security aspects from IoT SF and Purple. It would include. Uh, speakers like the head of the Cloud Security Alliance, he's committed to speak, uh, the CEO of IOTSF, he's committed, the VP of IoT for Qualcomm is committed, and then we have uh, one other keynote speaker to close, and then we have some uh, uh, track speakers that we have to close. Um, the venue is very nearly set, it's at the Berkeley Haas School, but we still need exact confirmation on the dates from the from the uh, Haas Business School people. They were we had set uh, Friday, May twelfth, but they had some heartache with that, and they were trying to move it around. So if we're not able to fix it really quickly, we're going to probably have to push it out because we're just running out of uh, prep time. But uh, so far, it's coming together well, except for that final commitment from uh, Berkeley on the date. So that's basically where things stand. Uh, there's, if anybody's interested in more detail on it, we'll have a discussion at our marketing council meeting tomorrow, uh, where we'll go through everything in detail. Questions? Okay. All right. And and I want to in encourage folks uh, if you are interested in speaking about uh, anything related to IoT in your organization. I think we are very interested in, in that. Um, so we would, in, we would encourage you to, uh, to keep that in your mind. We haven't gone out to the, to the point of soliciting uh, you know, talks for the track that much yet, but, but certainly all your organizations are certainly welcome to, uh, to you know, consider uh, submitting. Uh, also, I, I'm sure we will have plenty of meetings around around this. Is very likely uh, of you know between members and and groups and whatnot. So um, certainly uh, keep that in mind. Should be a good event. All right. Uh, any comments or questions on that? 
All right. Uh, I actually, there are a couple things that I forgot to put on the agenda, but I, I thought of uh, after the fact. Uh, we, I was following a, a discussion that was sent on, I think was the Battle Mesh list, uh, among some community networks in Europe. They were sending out a letter to uh, the EU Commission, I believe, on um, the, the European Commission on the topic of of what is necessary to help Wi-Fi or community networks succeed. Uh, that was particularly relevant as one of the topics was the issue of uh, Wi-Fi lockdown. Uh, so they are going to um, send a letter. I, I'm not exactly sure on the on the on the time, but in the next few weeks, I think. Um, nothing else uh, from the FCC side, though, on this topic. Uh, the other thing is that there's uh, some you know, more discussion between the OpenWRT and, uh, and lead split. Um, I, I know that the that the merger discussion is going forward. Um, Zoltan, I don't, uh, do you feel comfortable sharing the current status or? Uh, well, basically, um, currently a vote is going on on the lead ADM list, um, where it's being discussed whether whether uh, the merge should happen and what the name should be uh, that 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 the merge project should follow. Uh, we, from we, uh, I think both on, on, sorry on both sides, we are waiting for the outcome of that, and we are discuss uh, what how, uh, how to follow up after that. All right, sounds good. Um, all right, uh, I, who can vote on that, Zoltan? Uh, basically, that's something which Felix would be able to say. Um, as per the lead, um, I wouldn't say membership, but but, but lead uh, charter, uh, basically everyone uh, who is more involved in the project has a voting right. And also uh, the lead, let's say, leaders have mm -hmm. also let, let us to vote as well. So mm -hmm. as in the, the uh, uh, OpenWRT devs. OK. Sounds good. Um, I'd certainly would uh, hope that there's a point for uh, um, certainly industry members to, to have their voices heard on that. I, I think they're a valuable member of the community, but I, I'm, I hope that the, um, the vote and discussion uh, go well. With you, with you. Yep, all right. Um, all right, uh, any other topics that, uh, that are, people want to discuss? All right. Um, well, hearing none, I guess we will we will call it a meeting a little early. Um, thanks everyone for joining, and uh, see you again next week. Thanks, Eric. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mike.